Yeah, I sure know how to pick the right nights to go looking for these uh, fluorescent soda lights. See those little pockets of stone back there? This whole beach has a lot of little pockets, but right now I'm contending with an angry lake. It's going to get dark out, and that's the best time to go looking for these fluorescent soda lights. So uh, let's see if we can't find any. Guys. It'd look even prettier when it gets darker out. That's a nice one. I like the colors. Even in the daylight. I'll find some more. There's a pretty stone. See it there? The way it reacts to the light. Alright, can you guess which one is the uh, fluorescent soda light in this group? There it is. See that? Beautiful. It's going to get taken away. See those waves right there moving those stones around? That's why I keep coming back to the same places and I'm still finding fluorescent soda light. The lake is turning over the ones that are hidden. I always produce a new uh, stone for me to find. You don't know what you'll find. <laughs> you kind of a gauge under a rock, brass. Interesting stuff. That looks like a nice one. Got some interesting colors in it. Kind of sandwich in here between a couple big boulders. That's where you gotta look everywhere. I'll take that one. Found a really little one right there. Yeah. They're kind of neat though. I put them in a jar sometimes. And they look neat when they're together. Just grab that. Just a little fella. More hidden treasure. I just got a glimpse of it. Right there, hidden underneath the stone. See that? Oh, it's a good one. Peeking in these rocks. I guess I don't need my light for this. Found a net. Oh, I should have brought a knife. Let's see if I can't get that and take it out. Find something rather nice, guys. How does that look? Oh, black on that side. Come on, focus. Just a little feller. We'll let it go, let it grow. Like a good one. I hope it doesn't go away. Uh, some big waves here. 
Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> nice quick snag. Beautiful. There's one. That's a good one. Nothing on that side. Uh, still nice looking. Hey everyone, let me show you what I found last night. Uh, as you can see, I was able to get that net out of there. I'm always picking up trash, you know, from the lake when, whenever I find it. Um, the brass gauge that was left behind. And then, quite a few stones, you know, they look fairly ordinary in, in daylight. Um, this is the one that was kind of black on the bottom and it had the bright soda light on the top. I'll show you this one under the UV light. You really can't tell. I mean, there is a bit of a fracture here. Perhaps that's where the, uh, the UV stops, or the, the fluorescent stops. We'll uh, take a closer look at that. Found what looks like a little bit of slag, but it does uh, fluoresce on the UV light. Some concrete, pretty interesting stuff. Some concrete with some pebbles in it. It looks different under UV light. I didn't show you in the video yet because uh, it was getting kind of dark. Um, I stopped filming after a little while, but uh, take a look at that one. And then okay, here is the one that had some red in it. Looks really neat. I hope this is focusing. And we'll, we'll take a closer look at these. Now the last video did really well. Um, a lot of people are commenting. It's vines. We've got all kinds of different looking fluorescent rocks. This was the uh, rock that looked like it was slag. Uh, we've got the concrete one here. Looks kind of neat under UV light. You saw it under regular light. The stone is all black and white until you put it under UV lights. It's not necessarily for um, it's not necessarily soda light, but it's a really nice looking rock. Here's another really nice looking one, real bright. In fact, this is the one we're giving away tonight, gang. Um, actually, in about two weeks. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'm going to mail it to anyone in the U.S. or any address within the U.S. If you're um, overseas and you happen to have a friend here or something, that's great. Um, Due to the cost of shipping and so forth, I'm only going to ship it to a U.S. address. But leave a comment, comment section down below. Lucky winner gets this one. Random drawing in a couple of weeks. Here's that big one that was kind of black on the bottom. Kind of heavy to be shipping though. So yeah, this is the winner. Good luck. Thanks for watching. As always, be safe.